sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Today's video is something just a little bit different. It takes us to the state of New York where we find an illegal, that's right, an illegal person here in our country. And what does he do? Well, I'll let you watch the video and figure it out loud. But he was arrested due to the new mask law that went into effect. And that's what we need in this country. No more covering your face. So I'll sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy. Officials in Nassau County saying their controversial mask ban is already delivering results. That's right. They say the ban led to the arrest of an 18-year-old with a large knife. Jessica Formosa live in Mineola with new details. We just learned about that arrest. Jess. Oh, yeah. Only 18 years old. He's just a kid. But wait until you hear. He's in this country illegally. It's a big problem. Stephen Natasha, that's right. Officials here today saying that this new ban actually works, that it prevented a tragedy from happening on Sunday. Police say a concerned resident called 911 saying that she saw a suspicious man wearing a mask. Authorities telling us that that suspect told them he was going to commit a robbery. Oh, so in addition to being here illegally, you're a rocket scientist. Oh, you want to commit a robbery. What's the matter? Don't they have any place where you're from that you could rob? Yeah, that's what's wrong with the world. They don't want to work. Why work when you can just steal whatever you want? Isn't that right, Sonny Boy? We averted a crime. Somebody could have been stabbed as a result of this. Nassau County Police making their first arrest under its controversial new law banning face masks in public. Police say on Sunday a concerned Levittown resident called 911 reporting a suspicious man wearing a mask. Well, that's a lot more than a mask. That guy is dressed in black from head to toe. He's got his face completely covered, goes down around his neck, his head's covered. Yeah, I see somebody dressed like that. My antennas are going to go up. Something's not quite right here. Yeah, why would anybody dress like that unless they were going to commit a crime? The big difference between a face mask and some gay who dressed like this. This individual in himself was not suspicious. The fact that he was wearing that mask is why the call came in, that why it was suspicious. Police say he was around 8 p.m. in Hicksville, right on the border of Levittown. 18-year-old Wesley Omar Ramirez Castillo was wearing all black and a black ski mask. After questioning him, police noticed something bulging from his waistband. It was a knife. Look at the size of that knife. Wow. The first thing I thought of was Rambo. And then this guy in the clip is going to make a comment about a Rambo style knife. Yeah, let's listen. He turned around and he said, I'm wearing the mask. They told me to wear it and they gave me the knife to do a robbery. They patted him down on the waistband and they recovered a large butcher style knife, a Rambo style knife. So this kid claims he was told by some other people that he had to go rob a store. What, is he being jumped into the gang? Oh, man, I tell you one thing. Bubba's going to like that little chin hair you got. Yeah, that's going to tickle something when he, well, I better not say that. Let's carry on. Authorities say Ramirez Castillo of Guatemala is in the country illegally. He was charged with criminal possession of a weapon, obstructing governmental administration, and violating the new mask ban. The people in charge in Washington should get some brass balls and deport this kid. He's a danger to society. He's a menace to society. He's 18 years old. He doesn't need a knife like that. Uh, obvious that he's in some kind of a gang. We we'll see our country soft on deportation of illegal people right now. And that's what they are. They're here illegally. That makes them illegals. If we don't give our police officers the tools necessary to combat crime, someone with a knife like this could potentially kill somebody. But there's a lot of controversy surrounding the Nassau County ban. Although it exempts the use of masks for health and religious reasons, a disability rights organization is challenging the ban, filing a federal class action lawsuit citing discrimination against people with disabilities. I'm not sure what kind of a disability would qualify you to wear a mask, 
but if you do have to wear a mask, it should be marked in some kind of way that would be obvious to the police that you need that mask. I don't know. Bright orange? I don't know. Anyway, I don't recall seeing anybody in a mask before COVID. The people that I saw wearing a mask were in hospitals. They weren't walking around the streets. I don't know. Our world is a crazy place right now, but this kid needs to be deported. The New York Civil Liberties Union says the law is concerning. Nassau County is using the mask ban as a way to engage in selective enforcement. The Nassau County Police Department has a history of aggression and discrimination. To say that the arrest justifies the mask ban to us is a non sequitur. It really is a silly leap of logic here. As a society, we grant police certain powers to protect us. And these yahoos are trying to find everything in their power they can do to take away that very power. What the hell? Now, as to that class action lawsuit, the county executive says he is not worried. Now, as to the suspect, well, he is back on the streets due to the bail laws. He was not held. Um, we are told that he has ties to gangs. Oh, ties to gangs? No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, we all figured that out. Oh, I don't know what in the hell is wrong with the people in charge of our country. You're going to allow someone like this to run freely with no bail in our society. You think you're going to see him again inside a courtroom? You're sadly mistaken. I hope the state in New York is happy with itself with their no bail warrants. That's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard of. What if this guy would have killed a few people? Would he still been released? Of course he would have been. Man, I tell you what, if you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. There's no shortage of stupid people in our country, especially when it comes to our politicians. That's for positive sure. Well, not to worry. Check out Dr. Dave's website at drdave.media. You'll find some good information over there. As a matter of fact, just go to your favorite search engine, type in Dr. Dave, the bunker of frauditors. You'll find every single platform I'm listed on. And go, boys, on every single one of them. How you like me now, go, boy? You love me long time, sweetheart? Oh, me love you too. Yeah, as far as this kid goes, oh, man, we got to get him out of our country. I don't know how politicians sleep at night. They don't care. Now they just want to get reelected. Cheer to that. You guys, uh, you guys will definitely arrest me. He hit me in the nuts. Don't get close to me. Hey, you can you take want? all the video you want. Don't what are get you close doing? to me. You got close to me. Don't get what close are you to doing me. To you? Uh, you got no life. What do you? What do you got? No life. You're out here filming the banks. Yep. I'm gonna ask for your ID. That, I'm not giving it. Okay, then uh, well, I guess we're gonna go with the obstruction around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that because you're soft. No, I'm not soft. Put the camera down. See so soft. You work for the people, right? He doesn't pay your salary, does he? Dad, are you going to pull your gun because she walked past you? What kind of a moron are you? You are unstable. There's no privacy in public, ma'am. Respectfully. But you're taking my picture. So here, here I am. It took five minutes out of your three years to confirm that you're not in compliance with three portions of FOIA. That's a fire hazard. You cannot lock people inside of the post. Don't touch me. Yeah. Don't touch me. Oh, you will touch me? Yeah, touch me again. See what happens. Get back. I have a right to defend myself. I will defend myself. I'll defend myself, dude. Probably not even real. It's probably trash. Wait, shut up. Mind your own damn business. Don't touch my property, bitch. You're not going to write me a ticket for writing, walking in the opposing track. Get away it from is, me. It is a then write a ticket. Like, write a ticket, scumbag. How much does it cost? Step back. Step back. You're on video. You're threatening me again. So you're threatening me again. No, sir. You're under arrest, okay? For what? Turn around, put your hands Let me call my lawyer. I'm being trespassed or what? No, listen. I'm not doing nothing. Listen, listen. Oh my god. Oh, is that a law? What law is that? Federal law? Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Federal law. Take care of your business and get out of my face. I don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Do you know policy doesn't trump law? First Amendment protected activity? Control combat. Right here in the street. A coward won't do it. Your little heroin tattoos won't do it, right? I'm a YouTuber, and a million people are going to watch this, and they're going to call your building and flood it with calls. Let me know. I'll gladly sweep your leg. I will sweep your leg. I'm not joking. Good luck. Go back to Africa. 
Go back to Africa. I'm not interested so in talking to you. Big, so bro, get your dumb ass out of here. I'm not interested. Get your dumb ass out of here. You just have defamed me. Dave, um, you you came to my channel. You came into my business. I'm gonna I'm gonna take down a couple channels. Um, I figured out the formula. It's required to be prominently displayed in the public body. Here's your your hero, Dr. Dave. This is the guy right here who slandering my channel, slandering my content. There's a. Uh, uh, uh. A case, a court case, found on Google if you put his first name and last name. And then he's talking about he wants to sue for slander, tell him to go fuck himself. It gotta be prominently displayed. Well, we'll have to define prominent. We could define prominent. Prominently means in a way that stands out to easily be seen noticeably. Bunch of, bunch of uh, specifiers on camera. You, you gentlemen have a wonderful day. He's the one who came out of nowhere on my channel and started talking talking uh, nonsense about my channel. What a clown that tyrant is. What a clown that tyrant is. Dave, you you know, you have some type of disability, some type of sickness. You know, I don't I don't know his mom or nothing like that. But he's the type of coward who started to talk about my mom in his videos. And you know, that, that's no good for, for anybody to be talking about anybody else's mom. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. End the illegal occupation now. Carry on. Thank you. Yes, I'm recording audio and video. Yes, could you please stop? Thank Depending you. on how you act in front of the camera, you could act courteous and forthcoming and honor the public please trust. Stop. He's making money off my videos, talking misleading folks about my videos. They made about 10 videos defaming and slandering and misleading and lying about me I, I have to record thank you i need to see a block diagram giving its functional subdivisions I'm able to go down there and just request some more documents then i'll be on my way at this point the disturbances have already been committed and they want you out of the building so oath of office Start. you're signed oath of office for Start. constitution Start. okay you're violating my right i know go ahead sir clown Sir, you can beat, you can beat me up, you'll be violating me, sir. Sir, I'm, I'm conducting business. Okay. Sir, we're okay. telling you. Please, ha have some kind of respect for man to man. I mean, Am I being detained? You're yeah. going to be if you're not going to leave the building. Okay, sir. This is, is complete. Get your stuff and get out. Come on. Sir, that's not Step the way you're going to talk to me. I'm, no, I'm no, walking no. out nice. I'm in the middle of a meeting. Come on. Get okay. Out oh, come on, come on, come on. You're like an old man. I need to file a complaint on you, Chief. I need to file a complaint on you, Chief. Your best bet is to take a walk. Sir, you cannot violate somebody's rights. Public building, but you're in a private this office. Is, this is not a private office, sir. Yes, it is. This is public. There's no signs that say it's private. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm showing this video to my children to show them how government employees interact with members of the public. Have you're making here. false claims. I do have you're business here. You're disrupting What is your business? This is your favorite auditor. Audit them. The one who encourages you to audit them. That's a lie, ma'am. This, in, this act is not intended to cause an unwarranted invasion on personal privacy. Which statute are you referring to that you need an ID or a driver's license? I am not in my uniform. I do have my clipboard with me.